I have cameras in and around my house. I have cameras on the front door, cameras inside of my house, cameras that point outside of my house, cameras in my garage, cameras in my server room, and even cameras in my server rack. Don't ask. All of these cameras work great, and I keep all of the recorded footage in my home, but what's not so great is that I'm not able to tap into popular home hubs like HomeKit, Alexa, Google Home, or even Home Assistant. That's because many of these platforms require some very specific requirements for adding cameras to your home hub. That means they might have to be certified, have to be compatible, and both manufacturers have to get along. <laughs> and we know how that story goes. So this left me with using one app to check my video while leaving a whole host of features that my home hub provides on the table. Things like notifications within my ecosystem, the ability to trigger automations based on my ecosystem, some cool features like picture in a picture on other devices, and all the things that make home hubs, well, home hubs. And while I do like my home security of choice, I don't like that it doesn't integrate with my home hub of choice. I mean, it's not my fault that these two companies don't get along, and I'm not going to buy all new cameras just to be compatible with my home hub. And that's where Scripted comes in. Scripted is an open source software that you can host on your own machine that allows you to connect to almost any camera to any hub. That's right, certified or not. You can connect popular devices from Unify, Amcrest, Hikevision, Nest, and Google, Tuya, Reolink, and many others to your home hub of choice whether that be Apple's HomeKit, Google Home, Alexa, or even Home Assistant. This lets you choose and reuse your own devices and take advantage of the automations and integrations you get with your Home Hub. That's right, something the big players aren't offering you, and that's choice. This means you don't have to pay for a video subscription if you want to use video outside of your home. You can use Scripted to connect to one of the major hubs or even an open source one like Home Assistant. And here's where it gets really cool. Scripted is pluggable, so it allows developers to create and update plugins with Scripted, giving you lots of flexibility. Want to connect a Google Nest camera to an Alexa? Sure. Want to connect a Reolink camera to Google Home? Absolutely. Want to connect your Unify cameras to HomeKit? No problem. You're probably wondering, what does all of this cost? Well, if you already have the hardware, it costs nothing but a little bit of your time. The next thing you're probably asking is, what hardware do you need to get started? Or maybe you're not even asking that, <laughs> but I'll tell you anyways, you're going to need some hardware to get started. The requirements are actually pretty low, and you can run it on the latest Raspberry Pi, or Windows, or Mac, or Linux, or even Docker, either in standalone or on many NAS devices like Unraid or Synology. It's easy to set up, and after you've connected your cameras to your home hub, you'll be able to take advantage of all the integrations your camera has to offer, as well as automation your hub has to offer. So that's what I'm going after today setting up Scripted to connect my Unify cameras to my HomeKit hub, which is one of my Apple TVs, so I can use all of my cameras as if they were HomeKit certified. Now wait, even if you don't have this combination of devices and hubs, you can still follow along and set this up with any camera and any hub. So first I created a Linux machine and then installed Docker, which I highly recommend using, but if you don't feel comfortable, you can install it any other way that you like. If you are using Docker, I recommend doing this on Ubuntu, but Windows or Mac or any other version of Linux will work just fine. If you're using a Linux machine, I recommend using Docker and Portainer. Portainer is a great container management system for Docker and has a great UI. The install is super fast and painless and it makes managing Docker really easy. Once you're in Portainer, all you need to do is connect to your Docker instance and add a container. And then set a few properties like the names of your container, the image name, and tag, and then you'll need to map your data volume from the container to the local machine. This should be somewhere your portainer machine can read and write to. For me, it's a simple path to a folder on the machine. The last thing they recommend is setting the network to host mode, which means it will use the networking on the host instead of using Docker networking. Once all of that's set, just deploy the container and you're good to go. Oh, and if you want to use Docker Compose, I will include a Docker Compose file in my documentation site, and you can find that in the description below. Once the container's up and running, you'll want to go to the machine's IP address on port 10443. Once you get there, you'll be greeted with a sign-in page where you can create an account and password. Once signing in, you'll see the scripted homepage. The first thing I did was, of course, turn on dark mode, and then went into the plugins page and clicked on install plugins. Here you'll want to install the plugin for the platform you want to support. Scripted supports many different cameras and many different hub platforms. 
For instance, you can search for Alexa and see plugins for Amazon Alexa or Google Home and see the integrations for Google Home or even Amcrest if you want to find the Amcrest camera plugin. There are lots of supported cameras, but for me, this is going to be Unify, so I searched for Unify and installed it. Once it's installed, it will ask for a username and password for your Unify device. We need to create one in Unify Protect, but you'll want to create a new local account and not provide your own account. So we'll have to go into Unify and create a new user. We'll have to do this in the Unify console, and what I did was create a new role first that has full management access to Protect. The documentation says that you might be able to drop this down later to a read-only user, which I may do, but I will create the user and give it admin access in Protect only. Again, be sure to create a local account and set your permissions appropriately. Once that user was created, I then went back to Scripted and I added the user and the password as well as the IP address of my UDMSC. Once I saved my credentials, I could then see all of my cameras and you can view them now. However, since I'm going to use HomeKit, I need to add that plugin as well. So I searched for the HomeKit plugin and installed it. We don't need to change anything in the plugin. I just reloaded the Unify plugin and went back into my cameras. Now you can see some additional options, one being HomeKit. You want to be sure that this is enabled. I also made sure that the Snapshot plugin was enabled too. Once this was set up, all I had to do now was just add the cameras to HomeKit. I did this by navigating to each individual camera in Scripted and then clicked on HomeKit and then clicked on Pairing. It will then show you a QR code which you can scan and it will add it to your home inside of HomeKit. I did this for all of my cameras and I accepted that message about it not being an officially certified accessory and then I chose the default settings of stream while I'm home and stream while I'm away. The reason why I didn't change any of this is because I still use my Unify Protect for camera storage rather than store it on this Docker container. And for those counting, I have nine cameras. <laughs> yes, nine cameras. I think I might get a couple more. Now that this is all set up, what can we do with it? <laughs> well, now in the home app, I can see all of my cameras at a glance. I can see the latest snapshot of each camera and drill in further to see a live view. I can pin the camera too so I can multitask. I get notifications if someone presses the doorbell and I can talk with them too. Not only do I get notifications on my phone, but I also get them on my MacBook, my iPad, and even my Apple TV. So just in case I'm super busy watching something that's super important, <laughs> I can decide whether or not to get my lazy butt off the couch. Here's another cool thing. Since I have an Apple TV, I can even say, hey, Show me all of my cameras and it will show me all of my connected cameras right here on the screen. From there, I can browse them. I can pick one to watch or even listen to. I can even pin it to the screen so I can keep an eye on things or if I have an expected delivery. And if they're in the same zone as other devices, I can interact with these devices too, like toggling on and off the lights on my porch. One of the things I like most about Scripted is that I can use almost any camera I want and I can connect it to one of many platforms. Now, I obviously connected Unify cameras to HomeKit, but you can connect almost any camera to any platform. Want to connect some old PoE cameras to Alexa or Google Home Hub or even Home Assistant? No problem. That's the beauty of Scripted is that it's pluggable and can connect almost any camera to any Home Hub. Well, I learned a lot today about Scripted, HomeKit, Unify Protect, and I hope you learned something too. And remember, if you found anything in this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.